Hello, it's Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes with C-Suite Women's Network, where I help women and a few good men to be the CEOs of their lives so they can be better CEOs of their business. And I'm excited to bring you part two of the five-part series, Boss Magic Lessons brought to you by Beachella. How to elevate, to use your platform to elevate through edutainment. Now, in the first part of the series, I told you you need to own the stage that you're on, regardless of whether it is a literal presentation, literal, you know, projection on a stage, or whether it is just you showing up as part of a conversation, dialogue, or other engagement. But today, I want to encourage you to control the narrative and handle it like a pro. Now, you may have already seen Beyonce's epic performance at Coachella, where she awed the stage with her HBCU-themed prison performance. Now, it's rumored that she asked the social media to not post amateur photos taken of her by her fans. Now, some people groaned and moaned and thought this was the ultimate diva move, but actually, I think it was the ultimate boss magic move. Because here's the thing, Beyonce is a performer, but Beyonce is also a brand. And one of the things that she skillfully has done throughout her career is to execute perfected brand management. And the thing is, as a business leader, as an entrepreneur, as a community leader, it is important for you to practice brand management because your brand will precede you. People will hear about your brand, your reputation in the market, your reputation in the marketplace, your reputa reputation in the community long before they ever see you. And so it's really important for you to control the narrative meaning that you are deliberate about what gets out about your brand and that you are an active participant in shaping the narrative about you. Now, as a business brand, whether you're a business leader, entrepreneur, or community leader, you shape the narrative in your behavior, your actions, and your words. And all three of these things have to be in sync or you're going to have negative brand management. So if you say one thing, but your behaviors and actions contradict who you say you are, people will believe who shows up and not just what's said. So it's really important for you to take control of the narrative by being in control of the one person that you always control, and that's you. Because ultimately, you can't control what people think. Some people love Beyonce and think she's a really great performer. Other people can't stand her and they're watching the same show. And she doesn't cater to either, but she has a commitment. Well, I think she does cater to the people who love her. But what I'm saying is she's not really bothered by the people who don't. But she is committed to ensuring that when she shows up and what is out there in the marketplace about her is consistent with the brand she wants to project. So you have to be unapologetic in being an active executive brand management professional, okay? So everything that you do. Here's the second lesson that this has taught us, and that is you have to handle things like a pro. Now, one of the things that Beyonce did not want was amateur photos of her out there. Because an amateur is not going to know about the right angles, the right lighting, and they'll just put anything out there. And as a business leader, as an entrepreneur, and as a community leader, we've got to handle things like a pro. You can't have a professional, excellent brand image if you're handling it like an amateur. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to invest millions in your brand management, but what I'm saying is that you are committed to ensuring that it has a professional quality. You can't bootleg your way to success. Eventually, all that bootlegging stuff will fall apart and it will reflect negatively on your image. So you gotta learn to handle things like a pro. 
Because Beyonce's alleged request about social media postings isn't necessarily about unflattering images, her being a diva, or anything associated with vanity, but it is a commitment to the brand that she represents. And we need to be committed to the brand that we want people to see, the brand that we deserve, and be sure that we are actively controlling the narrative and handling our careers, our businesses, our community presence like a pro. So invest in your business, invest in the people who are going to project you, and invest in your brand. You can get away with some things doing it for free, but ultimately you've got to invest in professionals because you get what you pay for ultimately. Now, I'm Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes, CEO of C-Suite Women's Network, and I would love to help you to develop a deliberate plan to actively manage your brand to be the best representation that you deserve. So why don't you go over to www.discovertheceoinyou.com. That's www.discovertheceoinyou.com. And schedule a strategy session and let's talk about helping you to begin to control your narrative and handle your brand like a pro. Remember, your life is the product of your choices. Choose to be the CEO of your life.